Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler as China. So in this episode, we're going to invade uh, Austria, Hungary, and Czechoslovakia all at the same time. So we're just going to declare war. Declare war. That was kind of easy. And declare war. On all three of them. Make it look like it's a like a triumvirate. Or, or what have you, but we're going to just try to walk over these guys as quickly and as fast as possible. Yep. We deal. We're going to bring up a massive amount of troops there. We're going to bring these guys in and cut them off. These guys are all going to push up. These guys are going to push in as well. Put a nice little defensive amount of defensive troops there along the, uh, the Czech border just to be on the safe side. Figured they might be a little, uh, a little sneaky. Do a little sneaky peek. Oh, looks like we got a problem over here. Yeah, these guys are all cut the fuck off. Shit. Guys, moving that way. Okay, we took capital of I think Austria. Oh, Hungary's gone. Up here. Let our troops just work our way through Austria as well, who doesn't seem to be putting up any bit of a fight themselves. So we're just going to use that as quote unquote like an underbelt, like the soft underbelly of. Oh. Well, look at check units all the way down there. Because they are in a different country altogether. Oh, interesting. Let's put a nail in the coffin of this, shall we? People say it starts with the invasion of Poland. I'd like to uh, disagree with that. guys and just go uh, oh I thought we started pushing into uh, thought we started pushing into Poland there for a second that's a bit of a pisser That kind of pisses me off a little bit. 
And Czechoslovakia has been removed from the map as well. And since all our troops are pretty much here. Might as well do East Germany. Basically we're getting back all the countries that fought us during the Russian war, we're getting revenge on. Alright, we're going to halt our advances here. We're going to lose those AA units. Pull back a little bit and let our supply catch up because we just kind of pushed a little further than we should have a little too fast. And I think I've lost a little too many units at this point. Just to fight against the uh, the Germans. The Poles, on the other hand, are going to be fucking easy. Coup d'état in whatever that country is. And by now I figure these guys are going to hate us. Yeah, Kurdistan's fucking hating us. Well, you guys just push right into germ or right into pol or Poland. Fuck words. Oh yeah, we're just gonna roll over these guys now. Now that we're within supply, once we're supplied, we're just gonna just destroy. All these guys just to keep going. No, oh, Polish units are helping over here. We, took their capital. we got Berlin. Chinese troops have entered Berlin, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want anything German left on the border here. And we're going to annex. Actually, all these guys are going to go down here. All these guys are going to go there. Poland's next. Oof. Okay, the Americans are just leaving, probably. I'm going to assume the Americans are just leaving because I don't really want to go to war with the U.S. right now. Go close all that. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Or any of that, but let's look and see. Let's get all this out of the way. Make money again. Transport more missiles. Okay. And basically, all these guys are just going to punch right through Poland. I mean, Poland's already ready. They know it's coming. I mean, I'm going to put troops right here. Ready. And boom. Boom. 
And the invasion begins! Not too worried. You don't need reinforcements. That airbase. Okay. These guys are going to move all the way over here. They're going to reverse themselves around. Well, Poland's actually putting up quite a quite a good little fight. Give them, give them props for that. They're not going to last, but, you know, props for the... Points for the effort, at least. Let's push through now. This is the end of Poland right here. You help the Russians. Don't care whether you had the... Uh, the control over doing it or not, but you're getting my... I'm getting full revenge. Boom! Highlight everyone real quick. Gets cancelled. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to basically release a whole bunch of countries and give them all basically I don't wanna say independence, but they're all gonna get their own little little bit of stuff. So first things first, um, I'm gonna tell these units to come up here. You're there. You're there. Just real goods. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Close all that. Close all that. We want to remove all units out of our out of the out of these territories. All units have to be gone. Even warships have to be gone. Warships, aircraft, you name it. Then momentarily I'll just turn all this back on again. But in the meantime, we'll leave this nice, nice buffer for ourselves here. We're going to keep Moldova. Okay, so first things first. Close you. And Slovenia, welcome back to existence. Croatia, welcome back to existence. Oh, 
Bosnia. Welcome to existence. The Serb Republic. Welcome. Montenegro, welcome to the world stage, buddy. Kosovo, welcome. Macedonia, congratulations on your independence, buddy. Serbia, there you go, buddy. Turkey still has troops leaving their territory. Uh, Bulgaria, we're good to go here. Austria. This is basically what what uh, what Russia did after the Second World War. Basically, they released all the countries, but then turned around and uh, put their own, basically, you know, powers in control. Let's say Trotsky. Uh, you have no troops in your territory, so I'm happy to release you and you. Units are still leaving. So we're going to go with Romania next. Notice how the leader changes as well. It's that dude who looks really mad. And then we, we still have troops in their territory, so we're going to wait. Basically, the way to keep territory when you want it is basically to place your troops on it when you give them loyalty, or when you give them their own land back. And there we go. So now with that swift move, we've actually now put in place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16... 16 plus communist governments already in power are in place. We're going to. You. And release you. And then we're going to keep. We're going to keep hold of this. So see now that Turkey is now communist, Gary is communist. And if we check our actual world diplomatic relations, click us. All these countries now like us. Turkey really fucking likes us. So, a couple things we're going to do. Turkey first, diplomatic offer. We get embassies with all these countries. So pretty much at this point we can sign any contracts or treaties we want. Um, we're NATO aligned, so... Yeah. But yeah, so there you go. So we've released a whole butt-ton of countries. We've grown exponentially, but now we've also positioned ourselves where now we're liked in all of Eastern Europe. 
We literally pulled what the Soviets did during World War II. Now, if we wanted to do it enough, we could just roll Europe, flip it, and basically we're laughing at that point. Um, it's gotten to the point in the game now where it's... We can pretty much just keep playing the, the political game, where if a country doesn't like us, we just invade them, change, change their government, and flip them. And that's it. So at this current point on, um, that's might what we might do. Um, or, you know, we'll, we'll try to fix things around, tweak things a little bit. Don't want to puppet them, because with puppeting, it just it takes too much of, uh, of worrying and, and, and things like that. I don't like to really puppet people all that much when it comes to, uh, when it comes to stuff. So, that's it for that. So, this is going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.